Hey there, Susan Staples Bell here. I'm out in my studio. I've got my fall colors on and I'm ready to talk about Halloween. Well, maybe you're not ready, but I wanted to tell you, in case you are, I wanted to tell you about a new collection I have out for elementary students. This is 10 Frightfully Fun Features for Fall. Volume two, last year I had uh, another collection of six songs. This year I went 10 because they're for elementary students. They're a little shorter and I just got on a roll and I couldn't stop. But uh, there's 10 songs in here. I'm a jack-o'-lantern. What will you be? Ride the spooky bus. How much candy did you get? I wonder why. Almost Midnight, Shadow Dance, Midnight March, The Lonely Ghost, and wrap it up with a monster boogie. Um, they're in order of easiest to hardest. And today I'm going to tell you about I'm a Jack o' Lantern. This is the cutest little piece. It's got note assist. I just discovered how to do this. I'm so excited. Now I can start writing a little bit more for elementary students. But in case your students are still not sure about what the notes are, their letters are right there in the, in the notes. And so that gives them a little bit of a help. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, um, you know, I'm such a teacher. The thing I wanted to kind of focus on in this whole collection is having a DC affine. A little kid music, you don't see that so often. So I thought it would be a great way to have an A and a little B and then go back into the A. It's the same thing. My students were, when we analyze our music, we're saying, hello, look, this looks the same as we did before. Well, this is pretty obvious. And I really wanted them to see that, get used to going back and repeating that part. Um, so I, I added that in several of these songs. Another thing I wanted to get used to, normally we play in C major pentascale, but in this one, of course, spooky, we've got minor, so we've got E flats in both hands, so we're going to be looking for that. Can I play it for you? And I want to sing it because it has words. I wrote the words. I'm so excited adding all of these fun things. I just want to be creative for the kids. Um, I'm a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, do you know that little rhyme? Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Well, this is a twist on that because jack o lanterns don't have feet. So it's our song. Let's listen to it. Trick or treat, smell my what? Snap, 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 snap. Give me something good to eat. I don't have any feet. Snap, 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 snap. I'm a jack-o'-lantern, I'm so sad. No feet here, optional, play the note or snap. I can only roll around. Back to the beginning. Trick or treat, smell my what? Snap, 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 snap. Give me something good to eat. I don't have any feet. Snap, 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 snap. I'm a jack-o'-lantern. All right, so cute. So we have a backing track that you can play it. The kids can sing it. They can listen to it. They can get the feel of it first. Then you can introduce the notes and playing, maybe one hand at a time. If that all goes well and you want to do something live, I've got a teacher accompaniment part that goes with that. Uh, let me play just a tiny bit of that, but it just fills in some of the gaps. So it's kind of got that little, little, little feeling to it, like it's spooky, it's care. We're thinking, and oh, he's so sad, he doesn't have any feet. Anyway, I just want to tell you a little bit about I'm a Jack O' Lantern, first song in my new Halloween collection. I hope you check it out. Take care. Bye.